So that was Springfontein. I'm glad I finally got off the N1 and saw it. And myself, after so many years, I got to see it a second time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it, eh? Now I'm trying to cross the N1 and there's not a single vehicle in sight. <laughs> it's crazy. If you look at the map, we are leaving Springfontein and then we will be heading in the direction of Batuli. It's about 35 kilometers to go. Uh, I did think of taking another route, but with the amount of rain they've had in the area, gravel roads are going to be very difficult to pass now. So I'm taking this way around and I'm sure we're going to find a lot of interesting things there. Yeah, I think so. I look forward to it. It'll be my first time. Gorgeous, eh? Sure. Look at that one walking away. Look at the horns. Yeah. This is the longest. He's looking at us now. Yeah. Tuli 3. I can remember I came here many years ago and we came to the Batuli Dam and I'm sure this is the Batuli Dam but when we came here there was a heavy drought and it was completely empty. It looks completely full now. Yeah it does eh. Yeah we are entering the town of Batuli. It does. It really does. I can't remember much of it from back then. I'm sure it's changed a lot. The entrance looks stunning. Up crop, yeah. Oh, it's better this way. Now this monument of the horse, as you enter Batuli, was erected here to pay tribute to horses and their courage on the battlefield. That is so cool about the horses, eh? Yeah, I love that too. Paying tribute to them, that's fantastic. Because they would have um, struggled a little bit more without them. Exactly. They would have struggled big time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm always happy when they honor animals' roles. Things like that. Good job, Batuli. Building this is. There's, yeah, I'm sure you saw what I saw. What? A um, monument or a something fenced around. Reformed Kerk. It's the Dutch Reformed Church. Oh, oh, okay. Reformed Church. Okay, it's their memory wall. Okay. So this is the Reformed Church here in Betuli. So this stone was laid in 1924, 16th of February.
Now, as we came driving up, we saw this bell tower. How amazing is this? That little bell tower is cute. Eh? It is. <laughs> it looks like it's got a little hat on. It does. It looks like a little hoodie. <laughs> yeah. Cute, man. Okay, let's continue down the main road. Yes. Looks pretty busy down there. Lined with trees on either side. You know what strikes me? Mm. Is that it's clean. First impressions, eh? Yep. Yeah, that's true. We're getting to some shops. Quite an attractive little one. Very. Love that the door's also gothic shape. The post that's office. Nice. It's a pretty building. It's quite a busy little place, hey? Yes, but I like it. I it's like got a it. Very positive vibe. It does, eh? It yes. feels vibrant. Yes. It feels like it's happening. Shops are open. People are in line for things. Yeah. Banks. Yes. I am impressed. Definitely has a good vibe. Yeah, you get that positive feeling, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Funny how one only needs a few minutes to pick it up in a place, yeah. eh? Monument for the Great Trek? I don't know. The Ox Wagon Monument, it says. That one to the right is the yeah. Ox Wagon Monument, and that one is Eau de Fontaine Foot Tracker Monument. Oh, okay. So there's two monuments here. This one is um, commemorating the 13th of October 1938 trek, which they symbolized the great trek of 1838. And this one was unveiled on the 16th of December, 1939. And then here's another one. This side is commemorating the death of Ben Creer and Jan Kutzer, who passed away, who drowned during the ba a battle. A bit of interesting information is that now this is the Maynard Wiltain, but um, I'm sure a lot of you will know, remember the actor called Patrick Maynard? He was born here in Batuli and he was the author of a, a book and a play called Boy from Batuli. Oh, what a nice building. It's a house. It is beautiful. Is it a house, you think? Is this the... Oh, it's a guest house. Wow, oh, it is stunning. I oh, love it. Me too. 
the long porch, right? Yep. That is really pretty. Yes. So this is the Pelissier Ice Museum. Unfortunately, it's locked. I think one has to make arrangements in advance. Yeah, and that we didn't do. Well, that we're never able to do. <laughs> yeah, we never know when we're going to get you. So we just quickly looked up and I had a more or less an idea that uh, Jean Pelissier, Reverend Jean Pelissier, was involved. He built this house originally built this house. 1843. And what's interesting is, is that this is still the only remaining settler house in the Free State. The oldest. The oldest one. Yes. Crazy. 1843. You did a good job, eh? Fantastic. And it's so great that they're still housing some of the belo his belongings yeah. and relics and artifacts of the time. Well, look at the stone wall below the fence. Mm, very much original. Mm -hmm. And they also decided on the name of the town, the Missionary Commission yes, or yeah. whatever. But Tuli, what was it, something about blessed by God? or Given by God. Given by God. Yeah. Check out the original culverts here, with steel pipes going through under the road. They're also original. Yeah, definitely. Oh, look at that. Power station, 1937. What no coincidence is this? No look way. at this. <laughs> Do you, can you see there that they had a ornamental water fountain there in the corner. Can you still see that? Mm, can see something like round? Yes. Okay, I see that, yes. So in, in its day, this must have been a pretty place. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And that was coincidental, just turning around and seeing this power station yes. from 1937. Just because we stopped at the culvert. Yes. These beautiful right. streets, eh? They are fantastic. You know how I love trees. Mm -hmm. I see buildings. Look how pretty these little houses are. It looks like a picture. It does, eh? 1882. <sighs> This one. I knew. What? I saw it as we were driving down the main road. I knew you were going to freak. Oh. <laughs> I love these verandas. Beautiful, huh? It's an impressive church. My age, you can look at these cute little buildings. The shops here. Yeah. They do look nice. Wow, it is a beautiful church. I like it. I like the fence around it too. Very pretty. So there's no way in, but I just want to get to see these plaques. And this one says Gelacht, which means laid on the 20th of March 1886. It, that stone was laid on 11 September 1943. Okay, so now, okay, so now I understand it a bit better after thinking about it and discussing with Sonia. They say that the 
It looks like the original church building was built on the 20th of March 1886. That's when the original cornerstone was laid. But then when they renovated the church, it was relayed on the 11th of September 1943. And then as you leave the church or you just walk across the road, Yes, a memorial. So this memorial is to, to remember those guys who lost their lives in the First World War. The top two, 1914 to 1918, and it doesn't say if the others are for the Second World War, but I presume the first and the second world war guys. Huh? Oh, what is this? Belisir School, Lar School, Primary School. They have the most gorgeous buildings in this town. <laughs> I'm telling you this. One after the other after the other. Rutili is awesome. Crazy. <laughs> I must say he's doing a good job, eh? I think he is. He's keeping this grass <laughs> in good shape. <laughs> maybe he moves from empty stand to empty stand. Or maybe he's the local garden service. <laughs> Look at that candy striped porch. <laughs> Roof. A bit of water on the road. Yeah. What is this? Wow. What do you think this could be? Could this be the hotel? That's possible. I don't know, I'm just thinking room the bathroom. Rooms. Room yeah, bathroom. it looks like it. I'm sure this is the hotel. But it just got that hotel look to it, eh? It does. Very pretty. It just looks like a, a room with an adjoining bathroom. Yeah. The windows. Definitely. Dual carriageway, eh? <laughs> yeah. See, there, there's a, there are vehicles there. Maybe yeah. we could just ask to make sure. Definitely some accommodation place. There's a door that's open. The blue door. Yeah. How many books do you have here? Not in here, but totally here on the other side of the street. Yes. About 120,000. What? And 80,000 records. 
Vinyls. All vinyls, yeah. Crazy. What a fantastic stay. Hi. Brilliant. Uh, such an incredible visit. A stunning visit. I said stay, but a visit, it felt like a stay. Oh, it felt like a stay. <laughs> so it is the Royal Hotel it after all. It is the Royal Hotel. Bye, Anthony. Bye. What a special guy. Eh? Amazing. But it's beautiful inside. You never got to see it inside. With him at the helm, I have absolutely no hesitation to believe that. That it, it must be. He knows so much. It is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, so you... Um, now we're heading to the bridge. Right, let's go check out that bridge. That sounds quite, quite spectacular. Too. Yeah. There's the bridge we want to go across. And it's the longest bridge in South Africa. That is wild. At around 1.2 kilometers. <laughs> Look at this. Rail and road. Wow, I love it. It's wild. So I eh? guess this goes without saying that it's the orange, right? Definitely the orange road. Okay. Well, it, this is just such a wide gorge, this. It flows here all the time. Oh, okay. So I see cattle grazing. Yeah. I suppose when it comes down in flood, it's ma major. Can you imagine what this whole oh. place looks like underwater? Oh. Look at that. So it was built. In 1899, started and finished in 1902, I think. This bridge? Yes. What? So that was it. Well, now we turn around and do it again. So there's no way to get a, a, a picture side shot. of it, yeah. unfortunately. Oh, you have to walk down, yeah. Maybe I can go further down and get a nice shot from there. One really gets a beautiful view from this side, eh, my angel? Unbelievable from this side. And so close. Crazy. It is quite spectacular, hey? Eh? Amazing. Amazing. You say it's called the D.H. Stain Bridge? The D.H. Stain Bridge, yes, that's correct. There's nothing that say no stopping. Yeah, I'm going to stop. This is the road we were told to take to get to the Batuli Station. A nice car, eh? Yeah. Yes. So hopefully we can see it nicely from this side. There's the Batuli sign. Now apparently they did have a security guard here at the station who was looking after it and then the department decided to take the security guard away. Yes. And then Unfortunately, the vandalization started. Started, yeah. Still looks pretty. Well, it's open. Well, the doors are gone. Oh. Oh, no. It's not operational anymore. No. So my camera battery's dead. 
so it's busy charging so I'm using Sonia's phone just to record further here at the Batuli station look at that quite cool Windows are smashed, but it's a pretty building. Definitely still trains coming through, yeah. So we've seen the Batuli station as well and it looks like it's just recently been abandoned eh? Yeah from the outside that building yeah. still looks good. It's the concentration camp cemetery we're going to now. Yes. And uh, Anthony said it's uh, the conditions were the worst in this one and most people died here. Yes. Did I hear correctly? Yes, that's what he said. It wasn't the biggest one, it was, it was what, the third biggest or something. One of the three one biggest. One of the three biggest, yes. but the most, the conditions are so bad that the most people died here. Right. And it's so encouraging, he says they cleaned it up recently. Yes. That's quite big. That looks very, very well looked after. One thousand seven hundred and thirty seven people died. Now what I find interesting, these are the original gravestones that were on the original graves down in the valley before the dam was built. And all these stones were made here in Batuli by local people back then. It's carved out in stone, sandstone, beautifully done. Now they've locked it up so we can't get in. I suppose also for vandalism. Because these, this has got so much value. No monetary value, but other value.
what a fantastic visit to Batuli this was. I love Batuli. <laughs>